we're live on the recording. Woo! Okay. Uh, happy Lunar New Year. Buckeye Leagues are here. Elections are coming sooner than you think. Voting member slide you all have seen a million times before, and there's a bunch of ways to get involved. Here are all the people to contact on the screen. Cool. Great. Um, I hate it here. Um, Dana, you've got a long way, so while I go wallow in my misery, uh, you go ahead and take this over. I'm just now realizing what these photos are, and I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Our League of Legends team, currently for the uh, BGC side of things, we're still in the process of getting our teams formed and uh, shoved out, so they're just beginning to get off the ground. But on Premier side, Scarlet and Gray are um, getting involved. And so we have Scarlet going to one and Seawall and Gray going to own VTS. I don't know what VTS is, but keep kicking butt. As for Overwatch, the league finally starts up in the ensuing weeks. Uh, Ken has all the information about broadcasts for all that stuff. So we'll be able to poke him and get all the tweets and stuff like that so we can keep you updated. So thanks, Ken. As for Rocket League, there's way too much going on. We qualified for CRL. I know the first time we didn't, but this time we did. So good job, Beans. As for Legumes, they are currently 4-2 in CRL qualifiers. Sadly, falling out, is that what that is? Yeah, so I can take over. Um, there are two weeks of qualifiers for CRL. So there was a tournament last week and a tournament this past Sunday. Um, so this is kind of just all of the team's results in those qualifiers. Um, Legumes won four matches, got doubly eliminated. Um, Premier Scarlet, uh, you know, and you see those all down the line. But the Beans did qualify for CRL. Woo! So we have a team to cheer on. Um, we always love to see that. Uh, and also on the note, you know, if you are interested in watching uh, competitive Overwatch, like Dana said, that'll be starting up February 19th. Uh, and you'll be able to catch all of that on uh, twitch.tv slash Ohio ST Esports. Uh, and of course, there's a Twitter there that you can follow to stay up to date for them as well. In other news, our BGC Valorant team made it all the way to the finals in CNE CNC Midwest Regional, sadly losing out in the finals to Northwood. And all those wonderful cam shots are the manager and player Cammy just hitting it back <laughs> living the dream of a valorant player that's an egg that is a raw egg by the way that's just disgusting i did not need to know that part i'd rather just be liquor <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah um yeah take that what you will glasses and all as for smash bros again semifinals in cnc midwest falling to that team up north <laughs> No, that's not that team up north. Hey, it's still a team up north. I don't, care, I don't care if it's the right one or not. It's still a team up north. All right, slide two. CSGO, in terms of teams up north, beat them out 2-0, unlike they did in rivalry. Again, this is the only one that matters, though. So it, it, it's on the record. We beat them 2-0. They only got one round in the second map. So get out. They don't matter anymore. <laughs> As for... The other league they're in, ESCA, they're also 2-0 and plenty of other games coming up. You can always find their stuff on the BGC streams. As for Call of Duty, um, the main roster is continuously undefeated in CCL, going 6-0. You can find them every Monday, hopefully being streamed either here or on their Twitch. Either way, you can watch them. As for their Academy roster, they are also undefeated in CCL, being played on Tuesdays. Same shenanigans. I don't know what CXP is. I was not aware of that one. Can you know more? CXP is just another league that they're in. They lost uh, to Akron and one to somebody else. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's just another league they're in kind of on the side. Gotcha. Well, sadly, they lose to the Zips. That's just pain. As for Rainbow, they made it all the way to the Season 7 playoffs, falling to Akron in Round 16. And Hearthstone is currently kicking butt. I believe they're actually in game as we speak. And, and the Collegiate Masters qualifier is currently going 3 0 for Scarlet and 1 2 for Gray. So hopefully they stay pretty high in those ranked power plays. Hopefully, maybe after today they go to number one. Um, also, Caleb did not give Halo updates at all at any point. I'm mostly trolling here. They're playing uh, soon, TM. 
Halo Scarlet got second in the Vanguard tournament, and Halo Grey got third out of the four teams that were there. Uh, apparently, that the was this past week. You miss, and you miss Junior. <laughs> um, so, point is, we have a lot of teams. Um, and they're all doing some great stuff out there. Uh, a lot of them are kicking some serious butt. So, that is all well and good. Uh, and now, on the note of more Halo stuff, I'll pass it over to Ben, uh, who has this and a few other events to talk about. Yeah, so we do have another Halo thing going on here, February 18th. Um, doors open at 5.30, starts at 6 p.m. Registration closes at February 14th. We are having duos. Um, we are taking up to 16 teams. We have a $100 prize pool. Um, at least one member of your team must be an Ohio student or a recent alumni, three years. Um, it's first to 25. Um, First of 25 kills or most in 12 minute round, three rounds, um, except for semifinals and finals in which it is best of five. Um, sign up together. Uh, first prize is two $25 Canes gift cards. And then I think it goes in like descending order from there, like $30 in Canes gift cards. And then it's like $20 in Canes gift cards. So if you like Canes, come on down. Games, Game Arena, uh, February 18th. Be there by 6 p.m. Uh, and then we get into these ones. So yeah, project, uh, the Project P playtest, I think we talked a little bit about that already. I, no, we haven't yet. Uh, I'll talk more about it at the end. Okay, cool. But essentially, uh, we put out a notification about Project P earlier, and um, it's like a thing that was developed by some former Riot devs, and it's really cool. If you like Rocket League and you like top-down brawlers, then you'll probably like Project P. They're doing a public, a public play test for college students, like the 11th through the 13th. Uh, more information in, in our Discord to come, and also from Kenneth soon. Okay, so February 12th, Smash Bros. Weekly. Uh, this is in Cartoon Room 2, but important uh, adjustment to this. It's actually going to start at 5.30 and not 3.30, because one of our um, main coordinators had to take a little bit of, um, he had like a little bit of a discrepancy in time, so. Is that a doors open at 5.30 or tournament at 5.30? I think tournament starts at 5.30. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and then February 17th through the 18th, we, um, well, through the 18th. Okay, so February 17th, we are starting bi weeklies for other games now. Woohoo. Um, so February 17th, um, from now on, bi weekly, we're going to be having Rocket League for the perceivable future. Right now, we're actually making the decision whether that's going to be duos or it's going to be triples. You can make that decision because it's a poll right now if you play Rocket League. So please, if you play Rocket League, go and vote. So we can uh, figure out if we want to do duos or we're going to do triples. Okay, and then on Fridays, bi-weeklies starting again. Used to be on Sundays, but now they're going to be at 8 p.m. on Fridays. Bi-weeklies, again, February the 18th. Um, and then once again, we have, uh, we have um, the Buckeye Duos tournament that's going on. Um, there's about not a battle fly, but there is a smash.gg link in one of the announcements I said earlier I'll probably ping for it again sometime. Please sign up by February 14th. That's like next Monday um, Then there's another March general body meeting. That's election procedure. We're electing new e-board uh, Positions and stuff so make sure you're a voting member if you want to be and also a little mendum as well um, We have a we have like a February Valentine's Day social that's happening in the esports arena that's going to be this Friday, February 11th at 7 p.m. Come play Halo, Valorant, and League of Legends and potentially have some food because, um, yeah, that would be pretty good. Meet some friends. Yeah. A um, few details getting finalized on that uh, Friday date. I will unfortunately not be there. Um, but such is life. And like I said, I'll talk more about this Project P play test because it's something that I'm pretty excited about. Um, and I would hope that some of you all are as well. Uh, so there it is. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask away now. Um, sorry for the recording that we kind of speed ran, but actually you guys are probably lucky. Actually, most of you guys just dip, skip to the end anyway, probably. Um, but there that is. Uh, the go.osu link does not work, so you're going to have to pull out your smartphones. Uh, the reason it doesn't work is because go.osu was down earlier this afternoon while I was trying to do it. So sorry about that. Uh, t you sh if you want me to do it, I'll do it. You are welcome to, but technically you already have enough, so.
You don't need to. Also, don't leave yet, because I want to talk more about this other thing. Um, well, I'll come back to this while you guys are filling this out, and I'll talk about Project P. Um, unique opportunity. So I was approached over holiday break with this weird with this guy in my DM saying, hey, we're making a game that's like Rocket League and Smash Brothers and League of Legends and uh, Brawl Stars. And I was like, what? Like, okay, sounds interesting. Um, but anyway, Odyssey Interactive is the name of the studio. Uh, and they are a startup. This will be their first title. But the, a lot of the devs and a lot of the people that have worked on it have been the pe same people that have worked on League of Legends, TFT, et cetera. Um, and so there's their kind of thing that I keep putting in the announcements channel of the server. Uh, the game is codenamed Project P, is a 3v3 air hockey hero brawler where you smash opponents off the map with explosive abilities and score goals in chaotic online matches. So um, if you want more information or you want to find people to play with, you can type I play Project P, that'll happen in the Discord server, the bot commands. Uh, and they are anticipating thousands of college students across the nation uh, that have been invited. I will also say there should also be a way for you to flash the BGC logo as an emote in the game so you can spam that and show your Buckeye pride. Uh, but I got the chance to play this uh, about a week and a half ago or so, uh, and I had a lot of fun. Um, I would say that it is very reminiscent of something like Rocket League. It is very fast paced. Um, and it'll take a little while to fully like, you know, come online, fully understand everything that's happening. But once you do, I find it rather satisfying overall. Um, and it definitely did not get stale while I was sitting there playing it for like three hours or four hours. So um, definitely do get involved uh, with this if you are interested. Um, that is this coming weekend. Um, and give yourself the role in the server. Uh, their playtest sign-up link take you there. You can put your university down as the Ohio State University. Um, and you should be able to get access to uh, the Steam link when that goes out Friday evening. Um, so uh, yeah, if you have any questions about that or anything that we've talked about tonight, feel free to go about that. Otherwise, uh, if there are no questions, I'm probably going to run here pretty soon um, because I've got another meeting happening right now. Of course I do. Uh, this one's kind of an important one back at the house. So um, with that, I'm going to call it. But as I said, any of you have any questions, feel free to go about that. Uh, next month, I hope I'll put together a Jeopardy board. Maybe we'll have a little bit of fun. Um, and we'll try to see if there's a way to work in both in-person and online participants for said Jeopardy board. Uh, but hey, I'd love to see your guys' faces here at some point as well. So on that note, thank you all very much for coming on by. We do appreciate it. Uh, and we will catch you all later. Take care, everybody.